we're in the JK green room and not to shoot JK party or JK anything. We're just getting ready for our barbell brigade shoot for our uh, February launch. And this time, the pictures are a little bit different because I'm going to be shooting with Gio, which is cool. Last month was kind of busy. So these ones are already washed, but a little secret when you uh, take pictures on camera. Unless it's really worn out, it still looks brand new. So I'm wearing this one, this one, the pants, uh, the jackets I brought to match are these guys, the jean jacket and the black jacket. I brought some pants, some chinos. Um, just because this time the look is a little bit more casual looking. Some black skinny jeans, some light blue ones, and then some dark blue ones. I really like these guys. These guys are super elastic. They stretch almost like compression pants, which is crazy. It's so comfortable. I feel like I could do sports in them. So I'm going to lay out my clothes right here just so I can see what I'm working with. And then we can tie out the shoe. And when you're planning out these shoots, a lot of times when you're putting together these uh, outfits, it's not just about actually matching. In photography, you have to focus about the full frame, like the leaves in the background, the sun, the color of the sky. And uh, you want to make sure that the whole picture and not just the wardrobe looks cool. So I'm mapping it out to see what it looks like. And then uh, probably go something like this. That's, an, that's a fail-proof combo. I like this guy maybe here or here. That's a fail proof combo. And then I believe I have a shirt. Oh, it's in my backpack. It's in my backpack. Plan this out. Let's see. Here it is. Got my little shirt. And I mean this will go with anything. Just plan it out. And then I bought some little shoesies. Buy a little shoes action. Got these guys right here. These ones, out of the, the bunch that I bought at first, I didn't like them that much. But the more I started wearing them, the more I liked it. I was like, oh, cool, the color of the are really, really cool. And so, got these shoesies over here. Maud Bear is drying her, not drying, what are you, what are you doing? Straightening? Yeah. Maud Bear is straightening her hair right now. Is that hard to do? Straightening it? Yeah. No, it's very easy. I'll show you. My hair is a little bit damp, and I know for everyone that knows. About That's a good hair, thing, right, or a bad thing? Very bad. Oh, it's bad. And then I put it on high heat. Yeah. So there's a lot of steam that comes off, and that's even worse. Isn't steam good? People bad. go to the sauna to get steamed, right? Uh, I mean, you don't want to fry your hair because you're basically frying your hair. So you see how it's wavy? It's not even that curly. It's more yeah. wavy. Yeah. So I'll show you. Uh, back in high school, I didn't even know these things existed. So I would literally get our iron. Yeah. Look how straight it's going to And I would iron Ooh, my hair. Ooh, that's really straight. But the straight up iron? With literal iron. Damn. I burned myself so many times. But I had a lot longer hair too, so I would put my hair on the ironing board and I yeah. would just go like this. Damn. I was crazy. People had a lot of time in high school. I remember I used to iron all my pants and some of, and some of my dickies, I would starch them and I would starch the fuck out of them. And then I'm I, gonna see pictures of you in high school. You sound ridiculous. I had to make sure that uh, you don't need to look at pictures. Just look at old pictures of Snoop Dogg and Westside Connection. That was my uniform. But they make they make it look cool. Hey. Hey. Asians look cool and black people close to you. I've seen you with the bald head. That is horrible. Why? Why are you? Why are you discriminating against me? I'm not discriminating against you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm speaking factually. You're bald Your shaming. Head You're bald shaming. Your head, no, I'm head shape, shaming. Your head is as big as Taika's right now. Because you know how he's like super top heavy? Yeah. And his head's kind of funny right now? Yeah. That's yours. That's why I don't need a helmet. So Nads was uh, over here steaming up all the shirts to make sure they look nice to shoot in. Uh, Which ones are we shooting? We oh, damn, the rainbow collection? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we shit. Have, this one, I don't know what color exactly it is. Oh, yeah. Sick. Damn. Yellow, orange. Damn, you can never go wrong. Then this is, don't show this is the next one. Oh shit, that's the next yeah. launch. Okay. Yeah. Right. Don't show that's next year. Oh damn, look at all those colors. Damn. So what are we three. shooting this time? Uh, shirts. I don't know which one. Uh, these shirts right here. What these invisible ones right here? Yeah. No, I'm serious, dude. Stop messing around. What are they called? I don't pay you to write question? jokes, dude. No one pays you to write jokes. <laughs> they do. I, I pay them. 
Do you write jokes? Yeah. Alright, fine. So we have this one. Okay, that's clean. This one is not seamed yet. Yeah, they're both very subtle. I like it. And then... Mindset tee. Oh, this one's dope. So, for those of you guys who look at our uh, model all the time, Dominate Humbly, we actually wanted to put what the full meaning was. So, there's a way, I guess, fuller <laughs> meaning to our mission statement, and it's we are a culture built around the mindset that from humility comes limitless possibility, the empowerment of others, and a whole lot of fun. That's our mission statement, and you can feel this in most of our clothes, and our video content, our photo content, but it's just not explicitly put out there. We wanted to put it out there for everyone so they could feel, feel it explicitly. So we got this one, and then we got the blue subtle one. This is our subtle. Hey, Evan, do we have a name for the, this collection yet? Uh, stay tuned. Okay, stay tuned. We don't have a name for the collection, but it's something based off of it being subtle, because it is. The mousey collection. The mousey. Ooh, hell yeah. That's why they pay me the big bucks. They pay you the big bucks. This is the first location we're going to shoot at, which is just the hallway of this building. And my outfit is the gray shirt jeans and then my green new balances and Evan has a couple other shirts I'm assuming I'm gonna wear those later. Am I wearing those later? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm the one holding up the shoot. Hold on. Let's see. Next outfit, Evan dressed me, Evan and Gio, wearing the black pants with the Susie's and then the mindset tee, BAM! Dominate humbly mofo. Alright, time to go on location. All my shots are done. I changed back into my regular t-shirt because I'm going to have meetings and work and you know I sweat like a mofo so I don't want to sweat through all these shirts that they spend a ton of time steaming and then later on I have a workout today and I'm gonna have to wear this for that video so I don't want to stretch it out or sweat it out either so now oh sorry so uh, now they're gonna shoot Gio and I'll show you guys shoot me in the face. follow along bring my trusty little coffee are you all done I'm all done I'm all done eh, eh, eh. so now I'm just wearing my regular clothes which are my black pants and my little shoesies Ooh, damn, look at those hot velvet pants. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what to do with this What kind of dance is that? Nadeem's people's dance. What was it? Pet the dog? Oh, you have to put out the cigarette, right? Uh, Twist the light bulb. And pet the dog. Nope. Bunches up a bit. Uh, can you sit up a little more? Yeah. Oh, dang, look at that big old, big old, what is that thing called? I forgot. Yeah, what is it called again? Bounce board. Uh, yeah. Bounce board. I was trying to think of the opposite bounce. Looks good. Is her shirt wrinkled or no? It's good? It's good? Okay. And then, so do you think you need to put the just have this like, Nice. And then look towards, uh, wow. Wow. Nice. Does this look okay though? Yep. Oh, Looks great. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nadim, can you just do your job right? Sorry. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, Put your chest up a little bit, just so, yep, so there's no wrinkles. Oh, yeah. All right. Good. Hey, can I just have you walking from the stairs towards me? Let me see some of the pictures real quick. No. Hurry, let me just see we're, real quick. We're running late. No, we're not. Let me after, see. After, after, after. God damn it. If they want to see it, they have to go on the Barber Brigade website. Oh, just from right there, Gio. Oh, you good. You're good. Yeah. Sorry, guys. No, no worries.
Oh, the light looks good from one side. Uh, the hits are from the side. Yeah. And go. Uh, look away from me. Do that one more time. Just uh, look to the right and then the left of me. And uh, make sure, be careful where the hair blocks your face. Favorite camera. Nice. Alright, let me see some pictures there. Well, let's just walk. Just dig. Oh, come on, dude. There, one. Let me see one. Let me see one. Damn, that's a cool Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Dude. Damn, look at my bear's fire ass outfit. I think it's just the jacket. Ooh, that jacket is popping. <coughs> what about that shirt, though? Oh! And then the, the torns, and then the shells, Sam, and the freaking crazy knees. What was that, a fucking walnut or something? Oh. Hop higher. Can't find the light up there. There's, uh, oh yeah. All oh, right, here's some light on the ground. So when you're looking for a uh, light for a bounce, you always look for a light source. So since there's light on the ground, Evan found the light here and pow, popping it to her face, popping it. Oh damn, look at that stance. Damn, that's high fashion right there. I'm not. High fashion. Damn. Damn, that was fucking Vogue or some shit. Can you open wow. up, uh, just that side? Uh, you can have the other arm down. Look at that hip popping stance too. This is modeling 101. I don't know how to do it correctly, but Ma Bear knows some tricks and she's always hip popping. Look at that. Look at that hip popping action. Pulling on that jacket. Looking down at the floor. Pow. Smiling. Wow. Look at the angles uh, of the feet. Yeah, tuck that shit in. I perfectly just tuck it. You want me to tuck this in? Mmm. What? What? Look towards Evan. Good. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. See the light flickering on her face? It's that bounce. It gives it that extra pop. Outfit change time? Yeah. Oh, thought I saw a bird. Damn, that feet mobility though. What is that? The crisscross X reverse V? That is crazy. What is that called? It makes girls look skinnier. Wow, the X cross F V reverse X K. Look inside. Look inside. See a lion in there. Do you see your future? You suck at directing, Dame. You gotta tell them that they're a tiger. Huh? You have to tell them that they're a tiger. When you direct someone, taking a photographer, photographer, photographer pictures, you gotta let them know what kind of animal they are. They are. I can't even speak right now. You let them know what kind of animal they are so that they know how to unleash the the insides to the outsides for the photograph. What kind of animal is Gio? Huh? What kind of animal is she? Uh, gazelle. She's tall. Okay, here, gazelle. Unleash the gazelle. Oh yeah, gazelle it up. Oh yeah. Shoes are dope. I like them actually. It's all white, look rubber, uh, like a gazelle. Like, yeah. Ooh, look right there. 
Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Just finished shooting. Time to eat lunch. Today I got teriyaki turkey meatballs. And usually by the end of the week, I'm dying for something flavorful. So I usually ransack the snack area to find something that I can fit in my macros. 250 calories. Hmm. Is there something just as flavorful? 150 calories? Maybe. Is there anything flaming hot? Because I like spicy. I love spicy, but when I eat it, I'm happy, right? But then when I go train later, it all comes back up. I'm like, why did I eat that? But I can't control myself. That's the problem. So. Oh, yeah. Eh, eh. Oh, it's not bad. 150 calories? Yes. This is like my kimchi for my meal. Chester fries. And now we drink the zero calorie thing in bobber. We just finished our weekly corporate barbell meeting. And I always like looking. So they're just wrapping some stuff up. I always like looking because we're such a multicultural group, which is really cool. We have people of every background, height, gender here. And this is just a portion of our staff. We have other people working in the gym right now that couldn't be here. But um, it's always cool to have this corporate meeting because we get to have apparel chime in on gym decisions. Gym chime in on productions decisions. Productions chime in on events. Events chime in on marketing. And we get to hear a different perspective from every single department so we can grow together as a team. Because sometimes when you're in a department, you get so tunnel vision, right? And you know how sometimes like your buddy tells you like, that's not even involved in what you're doing. You're like, why don't you do it like this? You're like, oh shit, thank you for giving me that light bulb. So I want to encourage that to happen all the time. So during our weekly meetings, not only are we uh, telling each other the summary and updates of what's going on during the week, but they're also able to give each other that little, you know, side insight that can help propel things to the next level. Came into Barbell, just finished the workout. Um, I came here like just focused, ready to get the work done because I know I didn't have that much energy left in the day. So I was hella tired, but I banged the workout out and now I grabbed some protein to be on the road. But now the best part of the day has come and we're going to go eat Afghan food. Um, Nadim found this Afghan spot in Beverly Hills and we ate there once and it was so, so good. And Afghan food, before I didn't believe Nadim where he said it tastes like nothing I've ever tasted before. And after I ate it, I realized why. And it's because it's like a mixture, and, and it, it, it's so um, reflective of its geography. Afghan food literally tastes like Russian food, Middle Eastern food, and Chinese food put together. So if there's no Afghans in your area, you can't just get like kebabs or shawarma and feel like, oh, this is the same. It's not, it's so bomb. And I can't wait to show you guys. But first, we had to come back home and pick up this little man. So we can spend some time together. You ready for some Afghan food, mister? You big cutie. You're gonna burp. Got him some going out clothes so it can be warm. A little jacket. <laughs> little pants. Little socks. Little shirt. You're gonna throw up. Don't move. Big cutie. I need you to throw up. Big if he doesn't burp, he'll throw up? Uh, yeah, because he'll have like an air bubble. And then he'll, uh, it's bad. He'll just like spit it all up. Oh my that goodness. So yeah, it's on the inside, it's just on with. What exactly is this, Nadine? Explain to me. It's uh, at the bottom, there's yogurt. Oh, they put it on top of the time. But it's, uh, do you know, it, we call it dog. It's, um, like lentil beans? Yeah. And then they cook that in like a tomato sauce and everything? Yeah. And then it's uh, a dumpling wrap with uh, basically beef inside. Dang. And what's that white sauce? Yogurt? Yogurt, yeah. That looks delicious. And this is Afghan bread, which is also very, very delicious. Ooh, it's warm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And you can like eat it with the bread and like that. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Nance. Wow. Oh, oh, oh thank you, Nance. Wow, we did we did treat your elders. Nice. I'm gonna cut it in half. What am I supposed to do? Eat the whole thing in one, one go. No, I'm a lady. What the hell? Fine, true. I'm a lady. What the fuck? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a lady. 
Bomb, huh? Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite things here. I love all kinds of dumplings, raviolis, anything. Next up, we got Afghan quesadillas. What is this? What's inside? Oh, what exactly is this? Is that cheese? It's a squash. Squash. Ooh. Did you do this? Yeah. What is that? Is that like sour cream or something? Or is that more yogurt? You got it. It's a little spicy. No, I'm not touching. But no, it's not. It's not spicy. Let's just dip it. Just put it on the plate and dip a little bit. Don't put it on top. Oh man, that looks good. I don't know what it is, but it's colorful. It looks good. Vinegary. Oh, anything with vinegar, give it to me. This one's a little sweeter. Can I have a bite? Just because I only have one camera. I mean, one hand. Alright, so it's my turn. Thank you. Alright. Alright. Can I have a cup or two cups of ice? Oh, you're going to get the thank you. Mm. I'm gonna hold it up. <laughs> Alright, Nats, what's this thing in front of me? Eggplant. That's it? Is this eggplant? Yeah. It's really healthy too. What do they do? They mash it and they steam it or something? It's, uh, I think it's sliced. Uh, I think they might bake it. I don't know how they do it here. My mom used to bake it. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, put in like a. Pan? Yeah. Uh, there's like a tomato kind of like sauce on top and they sprinkle uh, drizzle over there. Damn. Can I see you serve it so I see how it's eaten? Yeah. Your name's Afghan, by the way, in case you didn't know. So he's our translator and tour guide, even though we're in America. Oh, real quick, I have a quiz for you. Where is this picture famous from? Where have you seen this picture? This picture is famous from. It's not a picture now, but it's from a picture. It's very famous. Is it from The Return of the Mummy? I'm just kidding, I don't know. I feel like I should know, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember it now. Are you eating the eggplant, Jake? I am. This is how you do it. Scoop it on a one piece of bread. Okay. So good, huh? Oh my goodness. Afghan food's the best. Oh yeah. Sam Swan. Sam. Oh yeah. Afghan food is so sexual. So sexual? Yeah. Dude, why are you eating like that? You're, you're a pervert, man. And of course, we have to get the kebabs, and the kebab here are so delicious, so soft. We got medium rare, look at this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's eat a little. Ooh, and that's that lamb rice, so there's raisins, lamb? carrots, and there's like a, a lamb shank inside, yeah. It's really good. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 it's hanging on a dear life. So much good food. Alright, I'm gonna have to call it quits here because it's too delicious. I don't have time to talk and explain to being really hungry. And Taiko's also awake, so Gio has to attend to him. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.